do you start building a content strategy? Hey, I'm Abby Herman with Right Solutions, and today we are talking about the first steps that you need to take to build your content strategy for your business. So every business needs to have a content strategy. It creates a clear path for your audience from brand awareness to purchasing to retaining that client and all the steps in between. And it helps to streamline content production so that you can create more content in less time. So how do you get started creating a content strategy? Well, creating your content strategy is an ongoing process that is different for every business out there because every business has different resources available to them. They have different timelines and different budgets. So if you think that you're ready to start building your content strategy, I'm going to give you a few tips to help you get started on the right path. So the first thing you need to do is identify your zones of genius and your zones of genius are the areas in your industry, in your business, where you are very passionate and can create a lot of content around. Those will eventually become the categories in your blog and you should choose about six or so uh, categories, six or so zones of genius. The next thing you need to do is take stock of what you have. So make a list of the blogs that you have, the guest blogs that you've done, the emails that you've sent, know what kind of videos you're currently creating, the social posts that you're using, what opt-ins do you have? What eBooks are you using? All of the content that you're creating right now, know what that is. This is doing a content audit and looking at everything all in one place. And of course, you also need to know which of these pieces of content is actually working. Are people opting in? Are people watching your videos? Are they reading your emails? Are they connecting with you on Instagram or other social channels? Know what's working in addition to what you're actually doing. Next, identify your business goals. So you need to know what the goals are in your business so that you know where you want to go. And then you can start to build your content around achieving those goals. That content you create is what's going to attract your audience to you. It's what's going to get them to buy and then to keep them coming back for more. Once you know what your business goals are, take a look at the calendar. What do you have coming up in your business? What's coming up in your life? What's coming up in your industry that you can build content around? Are there any holidays that are going to impact your business? Do you have programs that are launching soon or any events that you're involved in in, in your industry? Also consider personal, uh, personal things like vacations. Do you have vacations coming up? Uh, do you have slow times and busy, busy times in your business where you want to drive your audience members to a certain type of content or through a certain sales funnel? So once you have identified your zones of genius, taken stock of what you have, identified your business goals and looked at your calendar, now you are ready to sit down and to get started really crafting that content strategy. These are just the very first steps that you should take, but you should take your time to do them before you dive into the content strategy piece. Today on the blog, I'm talking about why you need a content strategy. So hop on over there. The link is in the description and check it out. And if you like the information that I have provided today, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified the next time I create and release a video for you. Take care and have a great day.